key. Uh, Tails did not go for the Nexus first. He went for a forge opening first. So he went for the forge, got some cannons up, and you nev you don't really see that a lot. I mean, you can cannon your opponent, of course. You can, um, you know, you can do a little bit of a rush. But the positioning of the cannons by Tails was so so smart. He he got the probe in the main base. I don't think TLO scouted it. He positioned the cannons in in a great location in the actual natural of TLO. Uh, TLO did scout it, but it was just it was a little bit too late even though TLO did go for a pool first opening. But this is game two, guys. Uh, we're going to talk a little bit about the map being MLG Daybreak. Very standard expansion to take here at the natural. Of course, your main base. Uh, this is a one-on-one -on -one map. Top, right, bottom, left being the starting positions on this map. The natural, again, as I said, very, very easy to take. The thing that becomes a little bit hard... Uh, actually, it's not hard. The third is easy to take, but the thing that becomes hard is this fourth expansion. Uh, this is sort of laid out, uh, I can say, a little bit like Shakira's Plateau, meaning it's half map, half map split between both of our players. Uh, and you know what? I'm not even going to talk about the map. Look at what Tails is doing. I think he might even be going for another cannon rush. He did, in fact, open up Forge first. No kind of Nexus first again, and Tails is just cannon rushing. I mean, he does not care. He's doing whatever he can to win, and TLO going to force himself to pull some probes. And TLO went hatch first this game, so his pull is going to be, in fact... Uh, a little bit delayed, but it looks like there is even more drones here being pulled off of the mineral line from TLO. Cannon is going to get cancelled, but I can I can guarantee you Tails is not going to give up at all with this cannon rush. He's going to try to make it work uh, if possible, but TLO is going to get the pro. That is such a victory right now uh, for TLO. His expansion is going to be safe, which is definitely what you want to do uh, against these cannons. You do not want to have any kind of cannons come up as that previous game we saw um, from TLO, but Back home, we are seeing the Nexus being built for Tails. Gateway's on its way. Very, very generic wall off here coming out from Tails. But again, I want to talk about the map. Third expansion, easy to take for Zergs. Uh, natural expansion, again, easy to take. This is sort of the base that becomes very, very hard for Protoss players to establish. The reason being is if you look at the way the map is designed, you have an area into the third in this location, and you can go ahead and move into the natural as well, correct? So. That means if, if a roach counterattack happens, you have to defend this. If any kind of ling run by into the third happens, you have to defend this. All of this can be super hard to defend uh, depending on the composition you go for. Now you generally see a, a, a robo opening if you want to take a third expansion on this map, something like a four gate robo. Uh, maybe put a little bit of pressure onto the third expansion of the zerg. But TLO is not taking a third yet. Very, very interesting so far. Harvester advantage at this point, we do see 22 probes compared to the 26 drones of TLO. Queens are currently out. And I guarantee you guys 100% we're going to be seeing so much creep. I mean, so much creep on this map. I can even recall TLO saying in an interview, um, by the 13 minute mark, you have to have creep by your opponent's natural. And that's kind of true. That's sort of what TLO has been showing. He usually goes up to four queens. At this point, he's going to go on two queens. Pylon's going to go down now for TLO. Meanwhile, Gas is going to go ahead and get taken for the Zerg player, as well as a Roach Warren and a third expansion. So this is definitely a little bit delayed here for, for the Zerg player. Not a huge deal, uh, but he is going to have a little bit of an earlier Roach Warren. Generally, you see it around the 6.30 minute mark, but he's going to have it a little bit sooner, showing maybe a little bit of pressure from TLO. I wouldn't be surprised if he tries to go uh, for a, a, relatively time, a relatively quick timing uh, onto the economy of Tails. Meanwhile, in the base of Tails, Sentry on its way. Gonna go ahead and uh, try to get a little bit of defense in case of any kind of counterattack. We do see the warp gate technology on its way, plus one on its way as well for Tails. Meanwhile, TLO's third is done, and this is a great build by Tails. The fact that he's gonna go plus one short, short of, uh, short of, what am I saying? Sort of uh, signifies a timing. Now, this can be a plus one timing, this can be a zealot pressure, this can just be an expansion uh, with a plus one. Generally, you see like a four gate timing uh, on this map, followed by an expansion. But TLO's third is up. 10 links in production for TLO. Immediately now we can already see uh, the creep tumors are going to go ahead and make their way across the map. Roach one completed for the Protoss player, uh, for the Zerg player. Metabolic boost on its way for TLO and the Stalker are going to get in uh, into the natural of TLO. Just going to scout out, see what's going on, sees the queens, sees a few links, uh, and then should decide to do or should look to decide what to do from there. Two gateways going to go ahead and get added for MVP Tails. Meanwhile, plus one is almost completed for the Protoss. Harvester advantage is still in the favor of TLO, not by a lot, only by one. 46 to 45. TLO might actually be a little bit aggressive here as the fact that he has a bunch of links on the map. 
Uh, I'm guessing that once the metabolic boost hits, he's going to go for a little bit of pressure uh, onto Tails. Roaches are even on the map. 75 supply for TLO, 59 supply for Tails. Uh, and TLO has a bunch of options now. Uh, he can either put pressure with a Roachling timing, or he can go ahead and play a little bit more conservative game, and maybe even take a very quick fourth, or just saturate the third. This is so important. Just saturate the third, um, you know, have a little bit of an economic footing against your opponent. But Tilo's going to be aggressive, man. He knows this third expansion by Tails is extremely greedy. Tails only has sentries and stalkers. And if Tilo's going to move in here with the Lings and the Roaches and continues to reinforce, which it seems like what we're going to see right now from Tilo, six Lings as well as five Roaches going to make their way into the third expansion, uh, Tails is going to have a hard time holding. Reason being is I have I don't think he has a robotics facility on the map. In fact, he's going to go ahead uh, and go for a twilight. So maybe even going to follow it up with Blink, which might have him uh, hold off this attack. But TLO going to come in from multiple angles right now. Moving into the third, uh, sentries and stalkers are going to be there. So these links are going to get denied. Meanwhile, the roaches and links are going to try to move into the third expansion. Now TLO still ahead in supply, 108 to 76. TLO getting a six round coming in from multiple angles. A lot of sentries going to go down, but great force fields being placed there by Tails. Losing a lot of sentries, but still... Uh, he's holding off rather well. Tails all the way down to 79 supply. More reinforcements for TLO. Just gonna hook, go ahead and stream across the map. That's a lot of units already. 11 links, 13 roaches. He's just making nothing but roach sling right now. And this is such a greedy play from Tails. Taking a third without a robo is so hard on this map. And all he has right now is the Stalker's Blink is on its way. He's also gonna get plus one armor. The third is finished for Tails. But the problem is TLO is just making more units. Way ahead in supply right now. 126 out of 63 for the Zerg player. Gonna this this third uh, I can this third is gonna go down I mean tails just does not have any units I mean if I look at the units tab he has two stalkers one zealot and and three sentries that is not a lot the third is gonna go down and that is a huge victory from TLO and to be honest TLO can just pretty much go in and kill his opponent at this point tails is stuck on two bases this is sort of the position that TLO wants his opponent to be on pin him on two bases go ahead and fall back in fact there's an infestation pit on the way for TLO, gonna go ahead and get two evolution chambers as well to get some upgrades on the map, of course. And what does Tails do at this point? <laughs> Even gonna drop some creepers. That's that's pretty cute by TLO. But what does Tails do? I mean, the robotics facility is on its way. I like that fact. He's gonna go ahead and try to get some immortals on the map rather soon. But I mean, TLO's economy is pretty much established. Harvester advantage, 67 to 61. That's a really good drone amount. Uh, a drone count to be at this point in the game. Tails went on and added a bunch more gateways. One, two, three, four, five, six. I think he's on he's he's on seven gates, so he might just go for a timing. Or it seems like he's gonna go ahead and try to take a third um, once again. But TLO man. Burrow's on its way. You do see Glide Reconstitution as well as um, Tunneling Claws on the way for TLO. Pathogen Glance on the way from the Infestation Pit as well. Of course, Infestors are great, but TLO going to come in from the Natural. Coming in from two angles from the third in the Natural. Again, this is very similar to the previous attack, and this is just too much for Tails to do anything about. So many units remaining here for TLO. Only Sentries. Sentries are not good against Roaches, guys, and that is just way, way too many units for the Zerg player. Even going to focus down some Sentries. Tails all the way down to 80 supply. TLO just making more units. 140 supply to 90. Uh, and this is this is TLO's game to lose at this point. Only sentries remain again for Tails. Burrow almost uh, Burrow just gonna get started as I mentioned before for TLO. 22 links on the way. Hive on the way for TLO right here. Um, <laughs> the tech is in the advantage of TLO. The the economy is in the advantage of TLO. It's gonna be super super hard for Tails to really recover from this point. Um, Ten links on its way. Spires on its way for TLO. Tails cannot really. Uh, can't really do anything. He does have a lot of gateways. He's floating a bunch of minerals, 1,600 resources, barely any gas remaining right now from Tails. Uh, and TLO is just going to play it safe. And this is so, so smart. TLO is not going to overextend. He knows that the ramp is in the advantage of the Protoss, although he does not have a lot of units. Let me go ahead and pull back. Let me get my hive. Let me get some infestors for infestors on the way for TLO. Spire's on its way, so he is definitely looking to go ahead and tech towards uh, that later Broodlord tech. And this is going to be so hard for Tails to deal with. He has no mothership. He has no economy to go ahead and get a mothership on the map. And this becomes so hard for the Protoss to really do anything. Meanwhile, the third on its way again for Tails. Going to go ahead and start to produce some Immortals, which are going to be good against these Roaches. Uh, but Lynx and Roach is going to try to come in. Is he going to force field? Okay, force field going down. Not the best one. Pretty big ramp uh, to go ahead and get a force field. I think it's usually round one. Yeah, two force fields to defend that ramp. So, 
not not looking really good for tails guys uh, and this is the creep I'm talking about look at the creep spread from TLO I mean he is not afraid to, to send this creep all the way across his opponent's base I even love the fact that he just he he gets overlords I think he has overlord speed as well just drops drops some creep all over the map and this is what you have to do um, as a zerg you need to be able to spot these things in fact there's a pylon trying to be built here in the bottom right does TLO see that pylon he sees it, so he should definitely be on top of it. There it is. Pylon going to go down. Even the probe going to go down here very, very quickly for Tails. Third is going to finish for Tails. But TLO, way, way ahead in economy. 79, uh, 79 drones to 69 probes. Even going to go ahead and build a bunch of spine crawlers here at that frontal positional expansion for TLO. Greater Spire is on its way. So we're going to see Broodlords here very soon. It's very important that you go ahead and get some spines on the map as quickly as possible. Of course, any kind of counterattacks, any kind of timings, you need to buy yourself as much time uh, to go ahead and get the Broodlords on the map. And once they're on the map, uh, it's going to be extremely hard for Tails to really do anything. A bunch more gateways being added. Looks like upgrades at this point are in the favor of... Actually, they're both even, both sitting on 1-1. One, one. And uh, a counterattack here coming into the third again from TLO. This is this is so, so smart by TLO. I love the fact that he's being aggressive, and Tails is sending the Observer. He's like, okay, what's up with this creep? Why, why is this creep all the way by my base? Why is it on my side? And this is, this is where the creep gives you vision. This is where you feel so much safer on the creep. This is where you're mobile on the creep. And the composition with the Roach, Ling, it's so important to have it on Creep. Meanwhile, it doesn't even matter, Roaches and Lings, guys. We have Broodlords on the map very, very soon. Five being warped in for TLO. Uh, 88 drones. He can pretty much just build more Corruptors, build more Broodlords, and just go for a final push. Tails is not in a good position at all at this point in the game. Does he have, like, a Fleet Beacon on the map? No, he's just adding more Gateways. Um, so... TLO, uh, just, you know, he's he's playing it safe. He's just making more units, making broodlords, making roaches and lings, getting all of his upgrades. In fact, now he is going to be ahead in upgrades. I believe he's sitting on 1-1. One, one. Actually, Tails is still ahead in upgrades, I think. Yeah, 2-2 two, two for Tails. So he has a little bit of an upgrade advantage. But the tech way in the favor of TLO. In fact, TLO going to try to come here into the third expansion. Going to trap a bunch of stalkers, of course. Blink was completed a long time ago, but TLO does not care about these units. He's like, okay, you know what? Have my roaches. Have my links. I'm going to come at you with like 20 broodlords and you're going to die. And this is kind of what TLO is doing. Uh, just getting scouting information. I love that he has creep in this location. Going to go ahead and see uh, if Tails is going to be able to take a fourth. That frontal expansion not even going to be taken at all for Tails. Uh, Tails must be super, super scared when you're in this position and you see all this creep. I mean, if I just look at his vision strictly, this is what he sees. This is not a good sight at all from Tails. Uh, but he knows he has to do something. He cannot, uh, he cannot pull back for very long. In fact, he's going to go ahead and make his map, uh, map presence with the Stalkers, with the Zealots, Sentries, and Immortals. Even has the Observer, uh, in position to go ahead and kill some of these creep tumors. Meanwhile, TLO has a bunch of spines, a lot of infestors. Let me go ahead and look at the units tab. We do have 12 roaches, 5 broodlords, 6 infestors, uh, of course, 3 corruptors mixing in with these broodlords. Very, very important. Uh, actually, not even going to have them as corruptors. Going to go ahead and make additional broodlords. So he's going to be up to about 6 or 7, and actually 9 broodlords out soon here for TLO. 196 for the Zerg, 168 for the Protoss. And Tails needs a third. He desperately needs a third. Look at the natural. That is so many probes um, overmining here at the natural. The third is well saturated. A fourth would be great, but it looks like TLO is not even going to make that happen. He's going to engage TLO. When, uh, 170 supply to 176. Both players even in supply, but the, the army is just so much more superior for TLO. A little bit of a mistake, actually, with the roaches and the links. They actually completely get trapped. But there it is. Look at the cute move with the Overseer. is going to drop a bunch of Chainlings. Broodlords being morphed in the face of Tails. What is going to come being re reinforced for TLO? We've seen 34 additional links on the way. Additional Broodlords. And this is just so many units here for TLO. Is Tails even going to blink on top of these Broodlords to try to focus him down? It seems like he's not even going to do that. That is a lot of Queens as well. Queens are important to go ahead and transfuse onto these Broodlords. And Tails quickly, quickly falling down in supply. 143 to 169. Uh, two additional Colossi on their way. Tails warping him back home. A bunch more stalkers. His economy is not too bad, but he just does not have the right gas. The fact that he's going off two Robo Colossus uh, isn't really going to make him be able to produce additional units. A little bit of a Ling Rung by here into the third expansion of Tails. Going to be able to do a little bit of significant damage. Not a lot of damage, actually, because uh, Tails has pretty good cannon placements. Tails just very good with his cannons in general. But this is this is pretty much it. I mean, Broodlord's going to move here into the natural of Tails. 
uh, TLO pretty much on top of it with the Queens. But again, TLO going to blink forward. Actually, Tails is going to blink forward. Focus down some more of these Broodlords. Uh, and he's actually going to be able to get a bunch more Broodlords. Now, what is TLO going to follow this up with? Five additional Corruptors. That is actually a lot of units. 